Hello boys and girls, welcome back. Um, so the fairy gannet, I'm going to get cracking with it. Um, I'm not going to do it in the, the colours that they suggest, because I'm just going to be awkward. So these are the ones it comes with decals and paint schemes for. It's got these three. I'm going to be awkward and I've got this set here of decals from Hannant's. Uh, there's the serial number should you be interested and that gives you all these options here. So these are the top and bottoms of these. So you've got all that out there. So you've got Australian, you've got trainers, um, these are the carrier onboard delivery sort of general purpose ones. Uh, this one's for the flag officer. And one thing that hunting around on the interweb, it seems that these all over blue ones, which is, that's the one I'm going for, didn't have the ray dome on it, the bit that comes in and out of the back. But I found photographs online of this one with and without the radome. So there's no option in the kit to not have it. So I'm going to fit it because at least at some point in its life, it did have the radome. Um, the markings changed very slightly as well over time. So a bit of artistic license, but it, it seems that over its lifetime, it, it changed colour schemes a, a few times, got repainted and blah, blah, blah. Also, um, there's one other thing which I haven't got a photo of. Instead of having all the weapons hanging off under the wings, um, the one I'm doing carried two little pods, one on either side. And there's nothing like that in the kit. So I'm kind of going to just do it without any of the weapons on it which will be as close as I can sort of get really. Ah, uh, because as we speak, there aren't any aftermarket bits yet online. So I'm going to make it with what I've got. So let's get cracking on. So, okie dokie, A9, A12, A10. Let's do that. So I've washed all the parts in soapy water so all good to go and I'll just clean these bits up uh, oh, lovely fit no messing about Okay, so part A1, if you look at it that way, it looks sort of symmetrical, but it's got a cut out there and not there. So that, the cut out bit fits up this end. And then just lines up spot on with all the little alignment pegs and whatnot. Again, just drops into place. No messing. Then the next is A6, which fits in there. And that's got some weight to go in it. I've ordered some um, tyre balancing weights, little self-adhesive things. So tomorrow that'll go on. Um, which means I can't put that bit on yet, because I won't be able to get to it. Ah, uh, but never mind. I can put that bit on now. It's A6. Just going to fit this in there, and there's little locating bits in the corners. 
But although they've rubbed off, let's get you a bit closer. These sort of injection pin marks, they, you can see that that wasn't me, that was cleared off in the factory. And they've done them there, but this one was slightly raised up and quite cleared it off. So what I don't want to do is glue this in and then find it sticks up too far. So we'll just get that smooth. So the cockpit, I've given a, a prime in black and the bomb bay and the front wheel well, I just went over that with a bit of white, but then having a look, looked at some photos and this area is black. Um, the bomb bay I'm not gonna see, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So I'm not gonna do any weapons, put the decals in or anything, just what's the point. Um, so I'm gonna give that a coat of black in a minute. The weights like for holding the nose down, they haven't arrived yet, so I can't fit that on there yet. So I need to get to that. But it looks like I can get on with doing the cockpit area. So there's this sub-assembly here, section eight, uh, which then goes on the cockpit side. Um, 10, 11, yeah, they go in there as well. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few bits I can do on the, on this before it needs to fit in on there. So I'm just swapping it around. Okay, section eight. Perfect fit again. Really nice bit of detail on there. Joystick, all black. Yeah, so just collecting a load of bits of, of black. That's it. So I've just been through the rest of this page and it's basically single parts or there's a little sub-assembly there, which was uh, this bit. They all need paint in black, so I'm just gonna do them all in one hit. Um, and there's a few bits to touch in, like leather bits and odds and ends. Uh, there's a clear part to go on, which, I'll, which needs painting a little bit. Uh, so I'll do that and then I'll, I'll fit that on. Uh, yeah, and then it's sort of picking out all the detail, a few decals, good stuff. So I'll just get all these primed and painted uh, and then start fitting them. So the Amazon man's bin and these wheel weights have turned up. Um, I had to saw one off, didn't quite fit in there. They're the 10 gram and five gram sticky back blobs. Uh, and that one didn't quite fit. So it says to put in ugh, 12 grams. So I've chopped this one down a bit. So I reckon that's about, about eight, seven. Something like that. Okay. 
And then I think the five will fit in on top of that. Perfect. Spot on. Lines up perfectly with that. That's lucky, isn't it? Uh, so it's like about 12. Will that fit? Oh, the odd bit fits in. Better to have a little bit too much in it, probably. Just stick that in. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I think. Um, I'm hoping this will fit on all right now. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a little gap. Just a tiny little gap in there. Oh, I love it when things like that happen. So you've got that slot there with a cutout in it, and a pin there, and that lines up. And then, the, then it sits on the back there. I'll jiggle that slightly there we go but yeah there's actually it's almost like they did it on purpose there's a little gap right there it's just the right height for those weights spooky cool well I can glue that down now I have to tape it down I think it's got a similar little bit with a cut out at the back and it just wants to ping out at the moment. It'll be all right once it's set, but at the moment it just doesn't quite line up. I'm just going to tape it at both ends just to make sure it doesn't pop out when I'm not looking. Nice satisfying little clicks here and there. Lovely jubbly. So pretty much everything on this page is now painted black. Uh, there's a couple of little bits need other colors. So I'm gonna do that before I fit them to that. So I'll leave that chance to dry for a bit. Get these other bits done. Um, Cause it's, it's all painted black now. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just little bits like this, 72 brown I think um, got this little clear bit to paint uh, and then I might as well pick out a few of those instruments on there um, not gonna go too mad with it because you won't be able to see most of it probably but uh, just so it sort of pops out a little bit and some of the Sort of cables and things running all. Ah, uh, right. Okay, back in a moment when I've done that bit. So the, that's page one, almost done. The it, the fit is perfect, absolutely brilliant. There's only one bit 
which is this part, uh, G20, and it's a little bit of a loose fit in the slot there. So if you can just see, if, you're, if I glued it in now, it could sit anywhere there. So I'm gonna leave that off until that goes in the fuselage, which is on the next page. Uh, yeah, it's just a couple of bits to put in there. Then that all fits into the fuselage. Um, and I'll put that bit in then, so hopefully it'll line up with where it's got to go. Um, so I was just looking ahead to this, and it says to paint the inside black and these two panels, the same on the other side. Um, but I just had a little look, because it looks like you paint all that and then fit these and paint them. But looking at where they go, they fit flush up against the side like that, sort of. Oops. So I might as well glue them in and then paint it. Um, slightly easier, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and all there is is there's a, a little window to go in there as well. So I'll mask that up. Um, and a couple of decals on that side. Uh, oh, and there. And I'll just sort of touch in a few bits here and there just to brighten up a bit. Like on here, I've just sort of kind of just put little dabs of silver on some and red on some. I don't know if they're right or not, but it just kind of makes it look a little bit, got a bit more life to it. Um, and there's the decals. See down in there? Just about sort of see decals on that side. Uh, some on there as well. Um, for instrument decals, they, they were really good as well. Usually tend to find that they don't fit the little holes properly, but these just with a bit of micro microsol plop straight in. So yeah, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna put these bits in and just spray that as well. So just a couple of little things. Putting the decals on here. What I found would have been useful was if this would be a little bit bigger and show the decals actually in situ rather than just an arrow pointing to where it's got to go. Just a little bit awkward to figure out where they all went. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a tiny thing, but if you want to be really precise about it, you, you could get that a little bit out. Or particularly that one there, it was a bit vague where it went, but maybe it's just my eyes. Um, and one other little thing, which I don't know if it was something I did assembling it. So if you look here, you've got this, these two upright bits and this bit that fits together through them. Um, that joins them together rather. It's this other way around. Just there. And... I didn't notice until I fitted it all to together. This bit was kind of bending backwards. So there was a gap there. So I've had to kind of clamp it and glue it. And I've tried it, I left it a couple of hours and it just pinged straight off again. So I've had to put loads of uh, extra thin around the join in the hope that it'll loosen this part enough to kind of move forward to join that one. It just looked like that part, when I looked at it, it just slightly warped backwards a little bit. Um, I don't think it will really show too much, because this bit's under the blanked off bit of canopy, I believe. So you won't really see it, but just a little thing to watch out for. So when assembling it back here, uh, yeah, when this part goes in, so section 10, so this part here, H10, glues up against section 11, that little pad thing. No, no it's not that, sorry, this bit here. Uh, I'm losing myself, section eight, up against that. Um, 
but when you put it in, so you've got this bit in already, and then you put these bits in, you didn't really kind of notice that that should be up against that. Yeah, there you go. You, you can maybe learn from my mistake. Just an interesting little thing I spotted just now. Got these two bits here. There we go. These two dents here. The same on the other side, which looks suspiciously like the right size for these windows here, which aren't used. So I think we can assume that this is going to be re-released at some point as one of the, maybe the AEW version, perhaps. Makes sense, wouldn't it? So yeah, just a little clue as to the later one, which had, because if you look from the outside, you've got the can canopy there, and the later one, I think it was later or different. Yeah, it must have been later ones. Had windows there, make it a little bit easier to see where you're going. Yeah, just a little thing. Uh, what else? And one other thing I've done is I've just knocked up some seat belts. Just a vague representation. Just some thin strips of PE from leftover from the fairy swordfish. So just glued them in. Just kind of when you look in there, you'll just see it looks a bit seat belty. So I've left it overnight. Um, this bit's glued up now, although it's still pulling back slightly. So I'm hoping when I fit it, it'll be all right. Um, what else have I done? Yeah, put the decals in, that's all, all sorted. Got this little bit to remember to put in. Uh, just looking at the weights. So shows here, so as well as that weight we added before, it shows to add 55 grams in this space here which they helpfully put a little mark in there so you can see where it goes. Um, but the weights I've got, I can only get 30 in there. But as I'm not using, as, as I'm having the Bombay doors closed, what I can do is put the rest of the weight in the front of the Bombay doors. Um, I'll put a little bit more in because it's further back, so it would, you know, leverage wise. So I can get 35 in there, as it is. So if I put another 30 instead of another 20 in, then given the sort of pivot point of the, the rear wheels, hopefully it'll keep the front down. I know what I mean anyway. Um, so now I've just got to fit this in the fuselage. I've already put the window in. These panels are all done. So actually I can fit that now. And then I can fit the missing upright bit in and the weights while it's in one side and then close it up. So hopefully this will all click into place as nicely as everything else has. So there's a locating bit at the back. Slotting in quite nicely so far. Yeah, all good. All seems to be just going where it should be. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, satisfying little click then. Okay. Uh, well, I won't put any glue on quite yet. I'll just make sure this bit goes in first. Just remind myself which way round it goes. Uh, it's the open bit forwards, right, okay. So it goes in that way round. So now I can feel where it, where it needs to rest up against the, the opposite side to that. It rests up against it. 
Okay. Uh, so just having a good look around, make sure I haven't missed anything. I'm not expecting any issues other than ones I've made myself. Because because I'm a bit of an idiot. But that all looks all right. Um, dry fit first. Let's just make sure, right? Wonderful. That's it. Just needs a little tap just to get it in. But yeah, that'll all hold in with a little bit of tape. Brilliant. Okay, that was painless. So I'll just glue that divider down first. That should do it. Doesn't need a lot. Uh, right, I'll get, get the weight stuck in. Yes, if you're using this type, then you'll need to figure out some other way of getting weight in the front if you want the bomb doors open. Um, so you need some other kind of nose weight that you can fit in there better than these. Okay, so it's three 10 gram weights in there. And I can squeeze a five gram weight in just there. Because uh, it gives you this, this line here. Don't cross that. And that is, yeah, I can just about get one in. Because uh, I think the engines or something poke in that way. So I could get 35 in. So I need another 20. But yeah, 20 further back won't hold it. So if I stick 30 in right at the very front of the Bombay doors, I reckon that'll probably just about do it. Yeah, can't quite get another one in. Well, I might have done. Uh, Mm, no, not, not quite. Okay, so that's that in. Ah, uh, right. One last check. That's all done, done. Weight's in as best I can. That's in, that thing is in. Uh, yeah, right, close it up.
Right, looks okay. Leave that for a little while uh, to go off. Um, what I've done is later on, when I get to the section where I put the Bombay doors on, I've made a note for myself to add weight so I don't just forget about this bit and, and ignore it. Okay, so this bit here is a part that you fit if you're having the radome down or leave it out if you're not. Um, so as I'm having mine parks up, uh, it'll be like that. So I can fit that bit on now, I suppose. Yeah, might as well. Might as well try and do it in the order it says. Doing quite well with this one. I'm not wandering off all over the place, jumping ahead and um, going backwards and forwards like I normally do. Which is some quite unusual. I normally get carried away and end up doing bits that are at the back of the build. Um, but the way this is laid out, I don't know, early days yet I suppose, but it feels like it. they've thought of the order of things a little bit better than they used to. So this bit just needed a very slight sand off of the edges. First bit I've had to make fit. Everything else is just plopped straight in, but basically nothing. So the fuselage is all set nicely now. Um, so I've gone on to the next bit. So yeah, we've done up to there. Then this is, because I'm doing the wings up, there's two different sections. So that you do this bit regardless. And then I've just taped over the page that I don't need, which is the wings out. So this is just assembling the wheel housings um, and the the flappy bits all straightforward enough one thing to watch though uh, this end it's, it gives you so you've got the, the door for it and it says to fit it dry here um, sort of like that uh, to get it lined up and then you glue it in later on when you fit it into the wing. Um, but the this bit here, I got it very slightly out of position when I, on the other one, the other side, which I've already done. So I just had to trim it down a little bit. So I think what I did was I fitted it and then I must have nudged it a little bit when it was drying. So this end here, where the holes are for the the door, I just had to sort of scrape a little bit off it to get it to fit into the wing. Um, not not biggie. Uh, yeah, so I just fitted that bit and this flap. And I thought I'd try the paint that I've got, which is the XF50. Looking around on the internet, you for everybody who's ever built anything in dark blue naval scheme, they've all got a different colour. But this one... Especially when, I've, when I gloss over it, I reckon it'll look about right. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep going and just assemble the, the rest of the inner wing parts. Because uh, what I'm gonna do, so there's more here. Um, oh, and I've, I've painted the, the bits that you'll see in aluminium. So these are all the end bits um, where there's a fold, you'll, the bits that you'll see. Uh, so I can just assemble it all. Um, but what I'm going to do is, where's the decals? 
here. So you've got the walkway markings, which are a little bit shiny and, and new looking. So I'm gonna mask it off and paint it onto the wing first. Uh, and then assemble it later. So I'm gonna spray the, the bulk of it, but then spray the bits of the wings individually and then fit them together. Uh, I think it would just be easier that way around. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll just get these bits done and then see how we go from there. Oh, there's more. Lots and lots of bits of wings. Hmm. So I've just been going through doing bits of the wing sections. Um, nothing really to report, you know, it all goes together absolutely perfectly. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of keep going until dinner time. Uh, so I've got to this bit. Um, so the, the rudder thing, just two bits put on. Then the, the tail plane, uh, so it's upper and lower, same both sides. Um, but one thing to note, when you put it in, I'll just show you. So you've got a slot and a slot there, so they can kind of overlap like that. But when you put them in, you have to kind of do them both at the same time. And it sort of feels like it's, it's done its job, it sort of sits there, but you need to give it a bit more of a push. No, because I'm on a plane now. But anyway, um, you sort of push them in and it, you think they're in far enough. And I just gave it a bit of a jiggle and it just went pop and they both sort of clicked together. So before gluing these in, probably worth putting the flaps on so you can line them up, make sure that they're sat in far enough. Uh, so I think I shall do that now. Or at least do one side to make sure. D16, 17. So D78, so that's the left one. Okay, so it's just the tiniest little gap there. So I think that, that has gone in, all the way in. <clears throat> I'll just use this as a guide. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. So, that's all good. Um, I might as well put these on actually. Getting it all to the stage where I can paint it. Tight fit. Kind of goes in slightly better. I think I might have just, uh, just take a little bit off there. Yeah, see, it's okay. So I think I should just glue them on and then walk away before I end up nudging it all and getting it all misaligned. Besides that, the dogs are telling me it's dinner time. Shall leave that be. I shall come back after dinner and start painting. I think uh, there's just the little sort of thin lit bits to go on, um, and the wings will all be done in sections, and then we can start going together. Looking really nice though. Very much enjoying this one. Right, see you after dinner. Right, just got back from a mid dinner. I had a couple of. Uh, Fried egg sandwiches, so did the dogs. 
so we're all raring to go well raring to have a sleep on the floor next to me uh one thing i just noticed um i was taking bits off of frame a and it's this bit left over a5 and i think what it is it's too late to check now because i've closed the body up but i think what it is is it'll go in there cause might just make out in there it's got these sort of edges that you sort of align something with which is the same as here where a6 went there you put weight in it um it says there to put weight in but it doesn't show this a5 so i think you can use that if you want to use sort of lead shot you can fill that up and that would fit it looks about the right size to fit in that space there so i think that's what it's for but they just haven't put it on there um so yeah so just something to look for if you need to add nose weight maybe use that right um also just put the ray dome together just two bits perfect fit uh, and i'm just gathering up the rest of the bits to spray ahead of putting it all together so i've got the bombay door and the engine nose front thing because um, all the bits are gone the front of black so this will be just the last blue bit uh, all I've got to do is find all the um, undercarriage doors get all them out uh, and then I'll get them all sprayed evening um, uh, so last night I thought I'd get all the bits all sprayed blue leave it overnight and then I can gloss it all today so while I was doing that <laughs> you're gonna love this so I dry fitted the Bombay um, and it went on so nice I thought oh okay oh, it's there now I might as well glue it on and then I glued it on and forgot all about it and of course I forgot to put the weight in the nose so there's the weight in there which is up to that line um but there wasn't enough so i was going to put some in the front of the bombay because the wheels back wheels are sort of about here to hold it down and i completely forgot so um i've ordered some liquid gravity um it seemed to be the only thing I could think of to to do it and then when it comes to it let me put this down and on so this is sort of like a the engine intake bit and that goes on there like that and there's nothing else goes on there and that fits in there there's not a lot of room, but I'm hoping if I can squish it down the sides and sort of put, put a bit on top of that. Um, if there's room, maybe a little bit inside the spinner, hopefully that will just hold it down. But yeah, complete. complete uh, there's me going on about putting weight in the nose. Just absent-minded, just, you know, just put that on. And um, yeah, totally forgot. Um, I'm having the wheels down, so what I found was a handy thing to do was use the closed doors as a mask because I'd already painted the inside there and that just fits, you know, everything fits so nicely, just click it on, spray it, take it off, job done. Uh, 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 so it's a couple of days before the liquid gravity is going to get here. But I can leave, I can paint that and then uh, fit that on kind of one of the last jobs. Uh, so what I'm going to do this evening is gloss everything. Uh, there's all the bits of wing knocking about everywhere. I've got it all scattered all around the room now, all drying off overnight. Um, and of course, once it's glossed, 
because the wings are all folded up, all the decals need to be on them first. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, probably the simplest thing to do is gloss everything, do all the decals, then assemble it once all that's done. Um, yeah, because you'd never be able to get decals on a folded up wing, would you? And what's the point of being clever about it? Uh, then I've got all the the wheels to be getting on with while that's all drying. So there's lots of little sub assemblies, just brackets and things going on places. Um, and of course, all that will need painting up as well. Uh, so, yeah, mm, I'm an idiot. But hey, it might work. I mean, the very worst, what I thought I could do is in some of the old kits I've got knocking about is the old uh, clear Airfix 172 size stands. So I thought maybe one of them and then I'll, I'll bod something up on it and have it just at the back, just to hold it. Um, well, you won't really notice it. But oh, what an idiot. Going on about it as well. I was talking about it just before I did it. <sighs> ah. Right, I'm gonna get the spray gun out and start glossing. <sighs> right, uh, everything's had a coat of gloss now. So ready for some decals. Um, these are they. Uh, so I've got what was supplied with the decals. This scheme, XG786. Uh, there's the top and bottom. But I've got some photos of it um, off the interwebs and some of the markings were sort of slightly different layout. Uh, yeah, so yeah, a bit of artistic license, I think. Um, yeah, it, it'll be something like that, but Maybe not quite exactly yet. A um, little bit tricky to kind of decipher where panel lines are with the wing folds and everything. Um, so I'm gonna have to kind of compare it to that and try and get an idea because this is the the um, obviously the airfix color call out so this has got kind of panel lines there that you can kind of work to uh, there'll be a bit of that going on uh, so I think what I'm going to do is just assemble the wings not assemble them but lay them out uh, as they would be so okay so left wing uh, center section this bit like that and then the end bit uh, I think it's this one goes like that so sort of lay them out like that and then sort of uh, compare it to that get where markings would be. You know what I mean, don't you? You can see what I'm up, I'm up to. Uh, and then it'll have another coat of uh, varnish and then I can assemble it once all the decals are on. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of hours. I've got Radio 4 Comedy Hour on, so I'm good to go. Okay, so progress update time. Um, put some of the decals on. So these are the uh, extra decal ones. Interestingly, this one isn't included. So I made that out of some scrap bits of other decals, put that on there. Um, they've all settled down nicely. However, where it's got the Royal Mail, Royal Mail, Royal Navy on the back. When I put the one on there, uh, I tried using the micro, 
that one, isn't it? Micro set, yeah. But because it's glossy, it just didn't really do a lot. And trying to move it in position, it just tore. So I've ordered another set, which is to sort of generic lettering, uh, which I've used before, but I didn't have it in this scale. Um, so when that comes in a couple of days, then I can put that one on. Then in the extra decal set, there isn't all the little tiny stencils. So I'm going to use them off the Airfix ones. Um, there's a few sort of like little ones go around the, the cockpit and so on. So I'll use all the ones that I can. However, I wonder if on the dark blue, perhaps the lettering should have been in white instead of black, but I haven't got the white. I can't see it in the photos, so I'm guessing it's probably black. Uh, where else are we up to? So I've been glossing the sections of the wings. Um, and got these on. Um, and they've settled down really nicely. Kind of, I'm looking at it in the light. I could just about make out the edge of the, the transfer, but it's really, really subtle. They're almost too long to fit on there, but just a very, very slightest little slither off the end there and they fitted. So I'm really pleased with them. Uh, the roundels, I used the Airfix ones because the extra decal ones, maybe it's my eyes. Um, I'll put them away now. But the red dots seem to be slightly out. Um, these ones just look slightly better. So I just went with that. Uh, put the props together. Again, the parts just fall together beautifully. They haven't had a varnish yet. Um, I'm on the fence about weathering this one. I don't know whether to keep it all shiny and new looking or dirt it up a little bit. I, I, I kind of like it being shiny, but I know that's not really authentic. Um, also in the photo, it showed this part, the nose cowling bit. It was a black and white photo, so yeah, I'm guessing it was white. Um, which isn't what it says on the uh, the decal. Um, where is it? Here. Doesn't show it on there. Just shows it being blue. Um, I thought that's a nice little, something a little bit different. I'm sure over the years it got repainted, all sorts of things. Um, also the decals uh, has this R as the code letter. The one I've got in the photo, although it's the same serial number as this aircraft, it had an H instead of the R. So again, I'm sure at some point it it changed ships or to, you know roll or something. Um, and also this stuff arrived today, which if you know about it, you know about it. If you don't, um, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. It's like ball bearings. See that teeny weeny weeny runs. Um, and they're non-toxic and surprisingly heavy. Um, oh, I'm gonna have these all over the carpet now, aren't I? So this little bottle, as you can see how big it is, is 240 grams, so nearly a quarter of a kilo, just in that little thing. So I reckon I need about, 25 grams somehow I've got to squeeze it into the nose section here but there's this bit goes in there as well so yeah uh, what I thought I'd try and do is put some cling film across there and push it in with a paintbrush or something then pour this in so it goes down into the crevices making sure that I can still get this in um, just cram as much as I can in, really. Uh, oh, so I could put some in the back of that as well, that would help because it goes in that way. Um, yeah, and all you do with this, I mean, I've never used it before, but I've been watching people use it. Uh, you pour it in, and then you can use uh, either super glue, 
which you do quite a lot of, or just PVA. And it just sort of glues it all together, makes it into one big solid lump. So I'll give that a try. I might do a separate little video on using that as well, just as a sort of how it works kind of thing. So uh, where else? What else have I been doing? Um, this really isn't a how-to video at all. It's just me blabbering on as I persuade this kit to go together. Uh, which it doesn't need any persuading, really. It's it's just falling together beautifully. Um, yeah, I've, I've not had to carve any lumps out, fill any big holes. It's just a joy. Easier said than done. So blocking the nose up, nozzle up, take it right out. There we go. There we are. PVA. I'm hoping this one hasn't dried up. It's one of Sarah's bottles. Right, so I'm just poking it around with the cocktail stick just to get the glue to mix up with it. It seems to be doing the job. Yeah, easy peasy. So just about finished the decals. I'm still waiting on the, the Royal Navy bit to come in there. Uh, you probably won't see most of these. There's so many stencils. I mean, there's some just there, <laughs> tiny little things. I mean, it took me about two, three hours to get all these little tiny ones on, and you can just about see them, I think. Some of these show up a bit better. But obviously, this is, a lot of these are black on the dark blue, and it's not showing, but um, they went on all right. There's no, no issue with them. Couple there you can just about see. Uh, and there was a load. A lot of these are still for the for the weapons, so not used or somewhere in the Bombay. But there's loads of these little tiny black ones I just left out because just never going to see them. So I've just fitted the undercarriage legs, and in the instructions it's not very clear. Uh, you've got a little peg there that this bit fits fits over. That's okay. And the the main leg goes in there. This little bit here, <coughs> little bit fiddly to fit before you put the leg in. So what I did was I put that in, and then this bit got some tweezers, put fed that in, in first, and then twisted it round, and it just drops down that end. And this one here fits in there, and there's you can just about make out probably there's a little bit sticks out from this side, um, and this leg sits on top of it, but it's not very clear in the instructions. So you might think that goes underneath it because there's no real image of it. Um, but if you just sort of assemble it in situ rather than sort of glue anything permanent, you know, rather, rather than sort of glue this bit on and then leave it for half an hour, kind of glue it all on and fit it all in one hit because otherwise stuff won't line up. Uh, and the postman has just brought me my replacement decals. So this is from Hannant, this is that. Uh, 48 scale, four, eight and 12 inch. Annoyingly, on, on all these, they don't put how big the actual physical letter is. So I wanted six mil high letters. So it means doing maths. Um, got there in the end, but it's a little bit kind of, well, why not just put how tall they are and let us work out if that's the one, ones we want? I'm just moaning. But what I was after was those Royal Navy decals to go on the on the side and I think they probably look about right yeah it looks right to me 
so I can get the, the rest of the decals done on this. I've only got that Royal Navy to put on and then the serial numbers go just underneath it. Then I can get it lacquered once that's all dry. I can finish putting it together. So getting on towards the end now. Um, just having a little look here. I'm not doing the little stubby area or this little thing here. I'm just putting in a, a small aerial which looks right for this particular aeroplane. But yeah, anyway. so I'm ignoring that bit. Uh, it looks as if putting the canopies on is going to be a lot easier now. I'd normally leave it till last, but I think it might be tricky once the wings are on uh, to get in there. So I'm going to do that first. Then blah, 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 blah. I'm leaving the wheels till last, although it says to put them on a bit earlier because they're these ones with the the flat bottom. So it sort of, you know, shows that there's weight on it. I'm going to leave it till the wings are on so I can put all the wheels on at the same time and make sure that it's flat on the on the ground rather than sort of do it by eye and then find that they're a little bit out. Uh, what else is it? The propellers will definitely go on last because they'll get broken. Uh, there's a bit of rigging to do, which isn't on here. Um, and there, there seems to be several variations of it. But on this one, I'm going to go pretty much for the aerial that's on there, up to the tail. And I've had a look at where they seem to be mounted. And just put a little hole in there ready so that um, I can put a blob of super glue in that a bit later on. Uh, oh, I've put the, the front undercarriage bit on. I've got the ray dome to go in uh, which just drops in. There's a little even a little circle in there that it sort of clips onto. So that's easy enough. Uh, there's the clear the clear parts to go on the wing tips. So I've put a bit of chrome pen in there just to make it look a bit more like a light really. Uh, Oh yeah, and I've just um, painted all the sort of bits and bobs that hold the wings together. Uh, it says to do it silver and something else, some other metal colour. But I've used the chrome pens on it because I had a look at some photographs and they look like they're polished metal or chrome maybe. Uh, on the exhaust pipes, I'm going to stick them on in a minute. They can go in there. They just they've got this weird sort of um, this bit. I don't know what you call it. Sticky out bit. And there's a sort of triangle shaped hole inside the fuse lines. They sort of, you sort of wiggle it about and then it pops in. Uh, in fact, I can do that now. I made a little mark on it. Which one was left and which one was right. Uh, C, one is C, one is D, uh, like the frame, frame C and frame D. So C is on the right. C, okay. And they just slide in. Uh, oh, I'm sure the camera won't pick it up. But you look down the hole. And you sit to see a, a cut out and that's for that bit. bit fiddly. That's it. Just notice it drops in almost all the way up to this other line. Let's get a bit of glue on that. That was
was just gunmetal and matte black. <clears throat> Again, looking at different photographs, they appear to be all variations of, of colours. So I thought, good old gunmetal, can't go too far wrong with it. I'm just being a bit careful not to get the glue on the edges so I don't inadvertently um, get a blob on the painted bit. Uh, well, I say right, wasn't it? Yeah, that side. Being careful not to, that's it, get any glue in on the and the edges on the way in. That's it. Cool. That was tidy. Like that. Uh, same again the other side. Uh, let's have a look at the ray dome. So you can go on any way around, I think. Doesn't seem to be any locating pegs or anything. Uh, although it does show it with the the seam running down the middle. So I should try and copy that. I'm just wondering if as I've painted it whether it'll be a tight fit. Yeah, it is a little bit. I did. Oh, there we go. Little jiggle. Little jiggle forward and backwards, and it seems to. Oh, no, stop it. Stop again. We'll try it the other way around. I did try it before. Before I painted it and it plopped in nicely. So I'm not expecting it to be. Oh, there we go. That's it, it's all the way in. Uh, I'm not even going to bother gluing that, it's such a nice snug fit, it's never going to move. Yeah, all looks all right, as I left it. Don't think I've got any. Oh, there's a little bit of paint, a little bit of primer I can see on the inside there from when I did the outside. Tiny little bit, but it actually looks all right. So that's gonna get left. So, well, that's a nice fit as well. Lined up lovely, that. Okay. Right, bit of, uh, bit of uh, cockpit clear stuff. If you've not seen this before, I think it's PVA by another name. But the good thing with it is it it dries clear. So if you do get a little bit where it shouldn't be. It's not too much of an issue, but it's not as strong as normal glue, like your polystyrene and things sort of thing. So I tend to use the extra thin if I can. Hopefully. Yeah, it's just a tiny little bit smearing out underneath, but that because it goes clear, it doesn't really matter. Nice. Just 
dropping loads in there because it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. I just want that to sort of grip it. Open or halfway open. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to pinch it in for it to sit where it needs to. So I think it's, it's just going to keep resisting the PVA. It's not going to, yeah, it's not going to sit there. So I'm going to be brave, take a little tiny bit of the paint off and use a little bit of poly cement. Some people have um, had a little bit of a, a moment with these canopies as well. Saying so they're not very good. Um, I'm not even sure it's going to show up. But uh, there's a seam runs down the middle. Sort of casting. Oh, yeah, I can't see it. Uh, yeah, you can just make it out there. You can see the light on it. And people have been polishing it out and everything. And I'm, I'm not quite that finicky. It... <laughs> There's a trade-off between accuracy and effort and yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry. But you know, if you want to be proper accurate and everything, that's fine. I mean, I'm not criticizing anyone, just not really for me. Just get a clean cocktail stick, that will help. Right, just the tiniest little bit of poly cement on there without getting any stringy bits on it. First fiddly thing I've had on this really. So hopefully when the next variant of this comes out, because there's little clues in, in this kit, bits that you don't use. <coughs> that at some point there'll be another version. Um they'll have a look at the cockpit situation, the canopy rather. Because that's the only thing that's really slightly let it down. It's not awful by any means, but there's that line running down it. That, yeah, that just won't play in. Well, finally got the canopies on. What I had to do in the end, because um, all so the, the two fixed ones are fine, but the three that you can slide, they're all trying to pull outwards. So what I did in the end was just attach them on one side with a little bit of extra thin, really thin smear of it, and then just hold it in place. So I tried taping it, but it still wanted to sort of fall out of place. So I just had to sit there and hold it. Once all th three were in place on one side, then pinch them together, put a 
a line of extra thin on the other side and again hold each one in place and finally they sat still but I've got a little tiny bit of I don't know what you call it um, just little bits of I don't know, hazing maybe I suppose it's called I don't know, little tiny bit there uh, it's not as bad as it is it was worse when I looked a little bit earlier maybe it's kind of cleared itself up a bit but that's as good as it's going to get and I think there's a few fingerprints in there as well which, yeah, my doing um, but yeah it would be nice if in the next time they bring this out with whatever AEW or whatever they do with it if they redo the canopy so they fit better and don't have that line down the middle anyway that's enough of that um, so I'm going to pop the aerial on there and another one that I've just got out of a bit of scrap that I've made to go in there so then <clears throat> once that's set nice and firm I can put the, the wire in um, I just figured it'd be easier to do that before I try and put the wings on. Although I'll probably knock it when I'm putting the wings on. But if I put the wings on, then there's not a lot of room to get in there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll get the aerials on anyway, and then take it from there. So that's the aerials on. I'll give them a while to, to set before I do the rigging. I thought I might as well put the, the first section of the wings on, because that won't get in the way. Um, you know, I dry fitted these ages ago before they were painted and they were a snug fit so I'm hoping they'll just slide on without any problem um, see there's like little grooves inside for the support so fingers crossed on that's such a snug fit I'm not going to glue it because it doesn't need it okie dokie so following evening um, first job I think is put the wheels on making sure that the the nose weight worked um, so the wheels is just a straightforward glue on job um, but yeah, just making sure to do them all at the same time so they can line up with the flat bits facing the ground. So fingers crossed that I put enough weight in the nose. It certainly feels heavy. But, uh, We'll see if that was enough. stands up yay oh, that's good uh, yeah definitely won't yeah definitely nose heavy now so that's good just check those wheels are absolutely straight before I leave it I can't leave it on the wheels because they'll sort of buckle but 
get them straight and then I can lift it off for the glue to set. Let's get down. Get down eye level. I'm just tweaking them till they sit flat on the table. Fiddly little blight out come on. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I'll get back up now. Cool, I'm glad about that. And that's just a case of not nudging them. The, these ones, they're quite a snug fit, so they're all right. I don't think they'll move anywhere. But these ones, you can see they're sort of a little bit looser, so they're sort of bowing outwards a bit. So I'm gonna have to let them oops, get properly dry before I move it. I remembered, fancy that. I put little tags on the Sticks with numbers on, which of course can't read now. E24, that's it. Yay. Um, a bit of a dab with the old chrome pen on there as well. It looks quite nice, I reckon. Uh, so, looks like that goes into the big round hole there. Okay. Then that bit, you know, there's a slot in the end of the wing, but also there's two sticky up bits here, which need to locate on there. So it's several things at once. Um, or is it easier to put it on there first? and then try and slide the wing in after. Let's have a look. My fingers just don't want to work tonight. There we go, right. So if I hold that there, and then see if the wing will just fit on in one hit. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just being careful to mind that area that I put on. Let's get a bit of glue in there. So, coming up for Christmas. Only a week and a bit to go. Oh, have you asked Santa to get you anything? Or maybe one of these is in your Christmas stocking, maybe. Well, you won't be disappointed if you get one of these. It's a lovely kit. Right, is this gonna slide on nicely? Slightly odd. Don't quite know how far, because it slides up and down that bit that I've to put on. Don't quite know where it wants to sit. So this bit here doesn't attach to it, it just slides in and out. Same with these. So it attaches there and there. Um, 
there is a bit of movement that way. Uh, is it the same thing on there? So it sort of shows where it should come to rest. But, yeah. It would have been useful if that part had a little notch on it. So you know that's where it stops. Uh, needs to sit up a bit. Yeah, you can see there there's a, a few mil gap above the uh, canopy. So I'm going to have to put something under there for it to, to stop it move, to stop it hitting it. Mind you, there is a little peg sticks out. A little bit there sticks out and it looks like it rests on that. So maybe it's supposed to sit like that. Um, it kind of looks like that's what it's for. That's, that's a resting point. Let's try it again. It rests on that. Um, so it would have been useful to point that out because you could easily miss that. A little exploded thing like that showing. Uh, I'll show you on the other one so I don't move it in. So this, this part here that's moulded in, that sticks out there. Should go on that moulded in round bit there. I'm sure that's how it's supposed to be, but um, I can't see that anywhere on there that it shows that. So you could easily kind of misalign it because if you didn't see that, you could have it all over there and resting on the actual canopy itself. Uh, right, I'll get some glue on it and then I'll line it up and then I'll just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't move. Right. Good time to put the other one on as well because then I can make sure they still line up. Just checking that's resting in the right place, and it is. Yes, yeah, just something to watch for that. Because it could easily just sit the wrong side of it and then it'd just be in the wrong place. Just slide on. Again, there's no definite point, but it kind of just stops by itself. So that sort of looks all right where it is. I'm going to just leave it there. Get some glue in it. Uh, I'm hoping these are both the same. I didn't really look. Uh, no, they're handed. So I'll have to try and work it out for the picture because I didn't think to label it. So the bracket bit goes low down. 
bit that sticks out goes at the front. So should be that one. There's a hole at the, near the end of the wing. I think that's where it fits. And then, where does it sit on here? Hmm. Doesn't really show it that well. Just sort of points to somewhere. Let's have a look, see if it is obvious once it's on. Kind of sits about there. There's not really anything for it to attach to. Lay about there. Probably missing something, but I can't can't see where it's supposed to go. Right, well, I think that's about it. Best I can figure out. Um, yeah, would have been slightly easier if this was. I mean, okay, it's obvious where that goes. Although a picture would have been useful of showing there's a hole there, but. Um, but yeah, this is just a bit, a bit vague where that goes. Um, I may be missing something, but I don't know, but anyway, it's in now, it looks all right. Right, rigging time, so this is the gear I've got, um, it's only one I've got, so you'll have to do. Uh, I've got some of this zip kicker, just to, uh, down on the length of time I've got to hold it steady. Oh, right, here it goes. So I've already poked the end into a little hole that like I made, and now hopefully I can just push a little bit of bit of glue in there. I've got to get a, my grey hair in the way so I can see what I'm doing. Just an old paintbrush with a bit of zip kicker on it. Hopefully, that'll do it. Yeah, seems to work. Right, and same again on the aerial. 
Wow, first time. <sighs> Toby. Uh, I'll put a bit of um, gum metal on that once it's, once it's set. Good stuff. Yeah, without this, you sort of 30 seconds try to hold it dead still. But uh, good. if you've not tried that before, give it a go. Absolutely stinks. So, it's in a little pump spray bottle. So if you're doing that, have a window open or a fan going or something. Um, but what I tend to do is just put a tiny little drop in the lid and then use this manky old brush. Just dab it on really quick. If you leave the brush touching it, it could stick to it because it acts so quick. But it saves you sitting there wobbling and it slipping out your hand. So, that's all right. Like that. In the instructions, it says make sure you only put the glue right on the very tip so that it doesn't seep down and get on that one, I suppose. Not that it really matters because we're not going to be spinning them around. Uh, Mm. Not gripping. Maybe I read it wrong. <coughs> mm. I can see it in there. Doesn't feel like it's got any grip. Oh well, not to worry. Uh, I'll give it a minute. And then the arrestor hook. It says to glue it in, but it looks like it just goes in that slot there and you twist it. Falls out. Okay. Uh, I think it's got to go right in there somewhere. I've tried it before and it stayed put. I'll have a better look at that in a minute. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay on there. a bit more not too fast if it jams them up I don't mind I don't need to have moving propellers apply glue to the highlighted area but hmm, don't know didn't seem to want to hold it uh, where's the rest of it bit? Put it in and then turn it 90 degrees. Uh, give it another go.
that's about right. Uh, right. I'm gonna leave the arrestor hook for tonight. I'm gonna walk away before I break something. Um, mind you, because I can't prop it up on anything now. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, didn't think that one through. I'm gonna leave that. That's um, that's all good. Uh, and then arrest the hook and one final sweep. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Ah, uh, and that be it. Cool. Right, no night. Right, well, that's it all done. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely little kit. Really enjoyed that one. Um, couple of little issues of my own making and. Tiny, tiny little things that might have been done better, but yeah, what a lovely looking thing. Ah, uh, well, yeah, um, hmm, I, I don't know what to say really. <laughs> it's finished. <sighs> yeah, I like doing things slightly different to how they come out of the box, hence the, the different paint scheme. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they. They do, I mean, they're bound to do a AEW version at some point. Um, so that'd be interesting to have a look at. But yeah, um, right, well, there's a, a fairy full mile waiting to be done, so I better crack on with that. Um, thanks for sticking with it, and uh, see you at the next one. Cheers. Bye.